How's it going guys? Captain Jasmine 087 here and in today's Sea of Thieves Shakedown we are talking rowboats and chests. Alright guys, so basically this is to test the Chest of Sorrows to make sure that the Chest of Sorrows doesn't fill up the rowboat with water and then sink the rowboat. Uh, also I was curious to find out if the rowboat was attached to your ship, would the Chest of Sorrows being in the rowboat still affect your ship and put water into your ship. As you can see, I've got the Chest of Sorrows in the rowboat, the rowboat is attached to the back of my sloop. And now I'm just waiting for it to cry. The Chest of Sorrows has just now started to cry. You can see it crying right here. And now I have water in the bottom of my ship. So this is not a plausible way of saving your ship from the Chest of Sorrows. Luckily I'm right near a now post where I can sell. Now, while I was waiting for the chest to start crying, I put all my chests in the rowboat to take to the outpost. And now we're going to see if the chest of sorrow sinks the rowboat. As you can hear, the chest is still crying. I need to stop my boat and then go see about the rowboat. The rowboat is still floating, and now let's row this bad boy over to the shore. So there you have it. If you detach your rowboat, you'll be safe with the chest of sorrows on the rowboat. If not, then your ship will still sink. But wait, there's more! As an added bonus, guys, I'm gonna sink this rowboat with a chest in it, just to show you what happens. And mainly because I got it stuck underneath this dock because I suck at rowboats. There you have it, the game mechanics for the robots work just like the other ships. And as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really like this video, push, push, push that subscribe button and tickle that little jingle bell to get notified.